Hi, this is Dr. Mark Goulston speaking on empathy and offering you another brain diamond. Today, I want to talk about assholes. Who are assholes? You know who they are. You might even be one of them. Assholes ask for your advice, but they just never follow it. And, and over time, they exhaust you because you're really trying to help them, but they never follow it. So what is it that causes such people to do that? Well, often assholes are people who want to feel relief and want to feel better, but they don't want to take the steps to get better. And so often when they're talking to you or they're bringing up a situation and they may not be asking for your advice, but they'll bring up an awful situation and you feel, oh, I've got to help them out. So you may give them unsolicited advice. And actually what they're trying to do is just feel the relief of getting something off their chest who will listen to them because they've often exhausted the people in their life and they haven't exhausted you yet. And what happens is when you listen to them and you take them seriously and you care about what they're saying, they feel relief. But in their mind, relief to them feels like the problem is over, but the problem is not over at all because they haven't taken steps to resolve it. And I'll bet you know people like this, and I'll bet some of you watching and listening could say, I do that. So what can you do with an asshole? So here's a suggestion and a brain diamond tip, because we like to give tips, not just insights. Uh, if you have an asshole in your life, and they're starting to talk to you, and they're starting to kind of vent, what you say to them, and, and you you politely but firmly raise your hand and say, I need to stop you. And they're going to say, what? You say, I need to stop you because I've been doing you a disservice. And they're going to say, what? Now, here's the disservice. We've had a lot of conversations where you'll bring up something that's upsetting you, and I listen to you, and I guess I'm compassionate, and sometimes I give you advice, but I have been enabling you to not do anything about it. Because when I listen to you, you get it off your chest, you feel better. And as you feel better, you have less motivation to do anything about it. And I don't want to enable or prolong you being stuck with these situations. So I need to cut you off because if I let you get stuff off your chest on me, you'll feel relief. But that doesn't solve anything. So going forward, I'm not trying to be rude or cold. I just don't want to prolong, you're not doing anything to solve your problem. So that's something you can try with people who vent to you or ask your advice and don't follow through. And, and, and I think if you say it, they, they may pull back and they may feel that that's hurtful. But if you stick with, no, I have been, I have been uh, guilty of prolonging your pain because Relief is not the same thing as resolution. I'm not going to do it anymore. So that's your brain diamond for today.